welcome to this vlog. This is my weekend vlog. I am right now getting ready to record a YouTube interview on a fellow social work YouTube channel that's like up and coming. What's special about this is that I'm going to be interviewed by one of my, um, I would say not one of mine, the career director when I was in school over at UT in Austin. I did my master's there. It's now called the Steve Hicks School of Social Work. They're going to be featuring social workers from all different populations, starting with me. So I am completely honored to be featured on this channel. As soon as I get the link, I will link it down below in the description box. I'm 10 minutes now till nine. We'll see how long this goes and I'll record just a little bit for y'all so you can get some, some insight on how that looks. Am I nervous? Yeah, I'm always nervous. I'm a major, major introvert for those of you that may not know this. And I'll share some things that help me push myself into these uncomfortable type of situations. I kind of created a little Zoom background here. Thinking of doing a virtual background as well. So I don't know, you can help me pick it out right now and kind of see that process. Simple Zoom backgrounds, that's what I'm searching through. So I'm looking through these to kind of get maybe a better vibe. I kind of like this one. And what I do, I'm on my, my MacBook that I got last Christmas. I am just dragging them onto the desktop there. So here I am set up. I've used some of these for supervision. I've done some graduation talks as well, like keynote speaking for the class of 2021. So this is with um, San Jose State University. Oh, that one's kind of cool. So this is my process. I seriously overthink in everything and anything. But the reason why I'm doing this is because my Zoom back, I have my, uh, my home office now set up here in my closet. It's a little random and awkward, but this closet is huge and I'm trying to make space for a home gym. I think I shared a little bit about this in one of my vlogs earlier so that you can go and watch that one later. That's a full day in the life of a school social worker, like school social work stuff, if you're interested in that. Some of the things that I do to ground myself when I'm about to push myself into an uncomfortable space, like a speaking opportunity, which is coming up, by the way, I am gonna be speaking at a conference and teaching other school professionals how to spot signs of child abuse abuse and what to do next, like how to be your best advocate for your students and children if you're working in the school system and probably beyond as well. Um, but some of the things that I do is light a candle. I also lean on things like my salt lamp and I do have an affirmations, a few of them that I recite to myself. I lean on my spirituality a little bit and I ask for guidance in what I'm about to speak on, what I'm about to share, that the best message gets across to my audience in the way that it's meant to be. And I affirm that and I jump right in. So that's what I'm about to do right now and log into this Zoom meeting. Thank you. Welcome, Lord. I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good as well. Because uh, I know sometimes, you know, we have uh, family members or uh, partners, friends who say, well, why would you want to go into that career? And I think your space really represents a great um, explanation of all the things that we do and the value that we add. I want to thank you so much for being here today. I would love for you to uh, give a shout out to your Instagram. I finished the interview just about maybe 30 minutes ago and now I'm getting dressed for something else. I will share that in just a bit. However, I, the questions that were asked were so, so good. She has questions about my best advice for new social workers, new school social workers specifically, like something I didn't expect to have to navigate. So I shared my answer to that. Again, I'm gonna link the full interview down below. And then we talked next steps in my professional journey, which is um scary, but thrilling and exciting to talk about. I'm gonna be transparent in my journey here, of course, but oh, it's been a while since I thought about like, what's my next steps? It finally got cold over here in Texas to the 60s, which is a big cold front for us. It was literally 80 degrees yesterday. So we're gonna bundle up and head out to see Santa in just a bit. Maybe I'll grab a coffee. We'll see. Where's your Santa hat? Gonna 
come in a waffle chip. Teddy bear moves? It's waving. Look, Gabriel, the teddy bear. Oh my god, we thought the other one was. Oh, hi! Good morning. It is Sunday, and today I've started off already a breakfast in bed, watching old reruns of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, I'm getting ready for my supervision. That's gonna start this morning in about 30 minutes. Um, it's the first time we did supervision on a weekend. Uh, so I hope that we will have more of a lighter, more casual vibe to it, maybe get more transparent about some things that my supervisees are needing to learn or expand upon. I'm gonna put on some makeup, get ready for the day, because afterwards we're gonna eat a quick lunch, head to Target to buy a birthday gift, a few last minute Christmas gifts, and then we'll be over at a fun trampoline park. So and that's about it. I just logged off of supervision. I did check in to see how weekend supervision felt. Typically we do like after a work day. I think everyone really found this one pretty refreshing and nice, less rushed. Someone also mentioned it's a good start to their week, kind of starting them off with a good framework of where to dive in and jump in as they start their work week off with their clients. So that made a lot of sense and I loved that idea. What I like about being a supervisor is that I really get to have a back and forth conversation with colleagues and assist them in their professional growth and development as well as they're just kind of learning their therapeutic style and their their method and approach i really love helping people develop that i got my coffee the kids have the dodgeball area all to themselves which they absolutely love